This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976. Hi, I'm Cami, and today we're going to talk about how to sit in a chair and how to hold our clarinet and make our first tone. First of all, you sit on a chair and you sit on the edge of the chair. You put both feet flat on the floor about, oh, maybe a couple feet in between your your feet so that you have a space and your clarinet. When you're sitting in class, your clarinet should either be up on your knee so that your reed is up or across your lap on your opposite knee. So it goes right hip to left knee. That will keep your reed from getting um, broken. So we're going to sit and we sit on the edge of our chair, straight shoulders, straight back, chin up. Bring your instrument up to your face. Don't bring your instrument up and then duck down to your instrument. Bring your instrument to you. All right, so then we're gonna take, we're gonna take, first of all, we're gonna take our right hand. Right hand on every instrument goes on the bottom. Every woodwind instrument goes on the bottom. So it goes on your thumb. It goes about where your um, thumbnail meets your cuticle. Right there. Yes, your arm will get sore for about three or four weeks and then you'll be nice and muscly. Then your first finger will go over the first hole, second hole, third hole. Pinkies are down here. You don't have to worry about pinkies right now. Then left thumb is on the back hole and your left thumb should be facing up or almost straight up. Then your fingers curl around, first finger, second finger, third finger. And the hard part is this A key here our first finger wants to sit on that. We cannot touch that A key with our, the inside of our finger, otherwise it makes a wrong so sound. So this is how we hold our instrument. Okay, you're going to take your mouthpiece and you're going to put it in your mouth. Top teeth are gonna be firm on the top of the mouthpiece. Your bottom lip is going to curve over, a little bit over your bottom teeth and you're going to kind of have a firm corner and smile. You have to have a flat chin. And I think the first note we'll start with is G, which is open. Okay, G is, you won't drop your instrument. Remember, you're shoving that instrument into your mouth with your bottom right hand pushing up. And then if everything's firm, you can't move that instrument. Now your left hand is up off the keys. And make sure they're up a little bit, not a whole, I don't want to see this. I don't want you holding your instrument with your right first finger like this. Or this. Or this. All right, make them nice and firm. Your hand should be in a claw on both hands. Okay, so we're going to take and we're going to blow open G. Then you're going to take, put your thumb, left thumb, on the hole. That's F. Put your first finger down on the first hole and your thumb. E. Another finger down on your left hand. Thumb, one, two. And that's a D. And thumb, one, two, three. And that's how we make sound on our clarinet and sit. The other thing would be is when you're using a music stand, your music stand needs to be even with your eyes. So all music stands are adjustable. So bring this up just a little bit. And sit where your eyes are just oh, um over the top of your music stand so that you're looking out. If your music is too low, you'll dip your head. And we want to make sure we're looking out. The other thing is, the reason we sit up straight and we pull our chin up a little more is if you take, this is your air column, and it already has a natural bend. If you take and put your head down, that kinks the air column. And the best way to demonstrate that is, if I'm talking with my head down like this, this is as loud as I can talk. But if, as soon as I bring my head up, 
we get a bigger sound. Same thing when you're playing your instrument. You have to have this um, as straight as you can have. So, and that is how we start our clarinet. If you need help with instruments, repairs, sheet music, or anything band or orchestra, reach out to us at boomermusiccompany.com. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to our e-newsletter so you will never miss another video or podcast. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company. Thank you for listening.